We're back at Hidden Valley Resort where kids as young as four can step into skis and get a lesson from the expert. And we wanted to bring in one of those experts. Joining us is Brett Lesnick, and he is the snow sports school director. Brett, good to have you with us. Thank you. Thanks or for coming Or I should say thank today. you for having us. <laughs> Come on anytime you guys like. So you guys have a lot of different programs here at Hidden Valley. Tell us what you offer. So we uh, have a children's program, uh, start four years old, potty mm -hmm. train. They come out till they're age 12, 13 years old. Um, and that's the full day program. We call it Ripper's Adventure Club. It's for skiing and snowboarding. Uh, mom and dad get to drop the kids off at 9 a.m. The kids ski all day, we take care of lunch, we take care of gear, we take care of all the headache, and you pick them up at 3 o'clock. Now, yesterday when we were here, we actually saw a much bigger group uh, down here, right behind us. Um, right now, my daughter Lila is getting a lesson, so it kind of explain for the Rippers Adventure Club what they do, because this is they're having a lot of fun. Absolutely. Our, our biggest challenge with is getting you know younger uh, skiers and snowboarders used to the gear right. and just having fun in the outdoor winter environment. So our first thing we're doing is we're going to play games. Um, behind us you saw Keith, they were playing a game of kickball earlier. They're kind of playing a, wa a water skiing game right now, kind of getting towed behind the motorboat and they're just playing on snow. Our number one thing is to make sure we're having a good time and just playing around in the winter environment. So uh, with a four-year-old uh, we had kind of a when she first put on the boots. I'm sure that that happens a lot with kids who maybe aren't used to that. Um, it's different than a regular shoe. So the kickball game is kind of get, getting them used to that. Absolutely. Right? It, we're trying to take you know, our mind off of the, that different piece of gear and just trying to play and have a good time. So as much fun as they are having and the lessons are great, there are also as well and you guys kind of expand out to help people of all ages absolutely um, we have you know starting out like those younger ages and then we even had a gentleman that was in his late 80s uh, over the weekend taking a ski lesson so it's a, an activity for life so that's that's the thing that I love because really it's for any age and you're never too old to learn something new or to get better at something that you might be enjoying absolutely for sure we'll have you know families that come down four generations skiing at the same time it's great and Brett, you also mentioned a program that you offer for kids who maybe already have the skills, but they want to get better. What's that program? Absolutely. We have an eight-week program called the um, Rippers Development Team and Rippers Race Program. The idea is it's, it's for younger kids that want to get out every weekend and um, develop their skills to eventually be on the race team. So we stopped by the ski shop yesterday, and we were able to get these adorable pants for Lila and that great mini helmet that she was able to pick out. But there are a wide variety of helmets. This is something that you guys require the kids to wear when they're taking these uh, programs and out on the slopes. Yep, in the children's program, all of our packages include those helmets and all the gear required for skiing, you know, and snowboarding. It's really important too to kind of instill at a young age the reasons that they're wearing them and that it is something that you should do as you're out there on the slopes, right? Absolutely. There's a protocol that we go through for every lesson, and we, you know, we work on safety as our number one priority. <laughs> I, I don't know. The helmet is off right now as we're talking about the helmet, so not sure what's going on there. But again, it's a four-year-old, so keep that in mind. Um, so we've had a lot, to, a lot of fun talking with you, but Brett, we're not going to leave you just yet because we are going to be talking about snowboarding coming up and how that's something that you guys can also help get Absolutely. people adjusted to and give them some lessons on that too. And if skiing and snowboarding isn't your thing, snow tubing could possibly be. It's a great family activity. Just tuck yourself into the tube and away you go. Sliding down one of the tubing lanes for a real thrill. It's open most Thursday and Friday nights as well as Saturday and Sundays as well. Then on Thursdays you can check out Tuba Palooza where you can gather by the bonfire to keep warm and enjoy all you can eat. Pizza, hot dogs, hot chocolate, and soft drinks. It's a lot of fun and a great family activity.